Gravity. What is gravity? Gravity is the force that tries to pull two objects toward each other. Characteristics of gravity. Anything that has mass experiences gravitational pull. The more mass an object has, the stronger its gravitational pull. Earth's gravity is what keeps us on the ground. The history of gravity. Galileo decided to test Aristotle's laws of nature, which stated that heavier objects fall faster than lighter objects. Legend says that Galileo tested this theory by going to the top of the Tower of Pisa. There, he dropped balls of different sizes and weights to see if one fell faster than the other. This experiment showed that the acceleration of an object is independent of its mass. I decided to test Galileo's ball drop experiment for myself. I am going to drop two different balls of different weights and sizes and see if they hit the ground at the same time. Every time I think I'm flying, I just fall in so close to touching the sky. But gravity keeps pulling me back down. As you can see, Galileo was correct. Objects of different weights released simultaneously will land at the same time. I experimented further by dropping three different objects to determine if they fell at the same rate. I repeated this at two different heights. I measured the height of each location using a tape measure. To touching the sky, but gravity keeps pulling me back down. But I can't stay here forever. I wanna go. As you can see, the results for each object were extremely close. Trying to make it to heaven, stuck on the moon. How beautiful Earth is from this point of view. So much evil. Further experimentation supported the earlier results. Acceleration is independent of the object's mass. Gravity keeps on bringing me down. After doing the experiment, I graphed the results and investigated the relationship between drop time and height to calculate the acceleration. Acceleration due to gravity is based on Isaac Newton's second law, which states that force is equal to mass times acceleration. Since weight is a force, mg equals ma, the mass cancels to show that gravity equals acceleration. This means that the acceleration of an object in free fall equals gravity. For the experiment, I calculated the acceleration with this formula. Since gravity was the only force acting on the objects in free fall, the resulting acceleration should have been equal to the force of gravity. My results were around double the force of gravity. This error occurred because it is hard to measure such short time intervals with the equipment I had available. If I had a more accurate timekeeper, the acceleration would have been much closer to gravity. The 
overall conclusion is that objects of different masses do fall at the same rate. However, because of human error, the accelerations of this experiment were not equal to gravity.